Fitness family, guess what? Today I'm going to share with you the best cable chest workout. I'm going to be giving you sets, reps, everything, so that way you can take this program right now and implement it. So stay with me and you're going to get all of this. My name is Brent Kasman, this is BKPT. I am super excited to share this with you because people are always looking to get not only the most out of their workout, but also different variations of how to work out specific body parts in general. So, all right, we're gonna get started. So this is gonna be four different circuits. So when I say a circuit, there's gonna be tri sets. So there's gonna be three exercises, and then it's gonna move on to the next group, okay? So we're gonna start off with the chest. Uh, we're gonna start off with a cable row. And this sounds kind of funny, because why would you start off with a cable row when you're getting ready to do a chest workout? I know, it doesn't make sense, does it? It kind of does if you know kind of how to work your chest. So a lot of times people improperly bench press or improperly chest dip or improperly do chest exercises. And when I say this, the, the key term and the key way and the key component of doing all these chest exercises correctly is being able to hold your shoulders back and down. So you want to be able to hold them back and down, and if you're always just pushing, pushing, pushing forward, you can't even hold your shoulders back. So a lot of times when you're trying to get into a great chest pump, you got to do exercises to help pull those shoulders back and pull those shoulders down, so that way you can get the most out of the actual exercise itself. Whew, that was a lot already. So first circuit, um, like I said, I'm going to be sharing all of these things with you. So we're going to start off with a cable row, and this is just done for a high repetition, so 15 reps. Now when I say rep ranges, it's not supposed to be easy, so it's 15 reps of what you can do. Don't get ridiculous and burn yourself out and burn out your muscles, you know, getting into your bench press, but that's kind of how you want to start. So we're starting off with 15 reps of, of cable rows. And then we're going to go right into a cable chest fly. Um, same thing. Most people do the cable chest fly improperly. And the reason and how you can do a chest fly improperly is you want to, they want to put on their max rep weight for a chest fly. And a chest fly is an isolation movement. So you're just trying to get blood flow to that muscle. So when I say you're not maxing out, but at the same time, you're not going super easy either. You know, you want it to be challenging, but at the same time, you want to be doing it properly, and you don't want to tax your shoulder joint that much. So you just want to get that flow in there. So you're squeezing those handles together, and you want to be nice and tall and straight. The reason is, is you know we're not trying to drive it into the upper part of the chest. We're trying to get that major pec muscle engaged. And when you squeeze those handles together, See, I keep my arms slightly bent, but I feel like I act like I'm driving my elbows together to finish off that movement to get that best chest fly, you know, to get that you know, muscle engaged. So we're doing that so that way we can go into our bench press. Um, you know, when, when I say, when I'm showing you these cable exercises also, you want to think about um, two, two things. One, obviously, <laughs> I'm trying to give you guys, uh, you know, ability to do these exercises with just your cable, but there are some exercises I definitely feel that should be done, you know, with the barbell and free weight. So I do have a bar here, so that way I'm able to do a bench press, you know, uh, and uh, I'm going to roll this in. And when you do anything in like a Smith machine or a cable machine, you want to be able to find that center point and then come down so that way you make sure that these things are centered properly. So that way you're not pulling to one side or the other. I'm going to drop these cables all the way down to the ground. If you're wondering what the heck I'm using right now, these are flex lines. And I have an actual whole video on the flex line unit. Um, they're all done with air compression. They're freaking awesome. And if you hear that air going in and out, that's air 
pressure. Um, we got computer chips up here. Tells you how much weight you're using. Tells you how much energy you're expending. So I'm gonna roll into this. And we're gonna go into a bench press. So key thing, I'm gonna load it up, which makes it nice. I'm taking it up and drive it. So if you do have a barbell bench, then obviously I would recommend that, but this is a great way to use that cable machine. Stay in one spot. So we're gonna be doing five reps there. So we want that to be a super max out heavy. So it's 15 cable rows, followed by 10 chest flies, followed by five bench presses. So you see how we're kind of loading, we're squeezing, driving the blood flow in there, and then almost, don't call it maxing out, but you know, 90, 95% of you know, your max. So um, great way to drive that blood in, get that chest all jacked up, pumped, um, and that way you can get the best out of it. All right, we're gonna move into the second circuit. Like I said, I got templates here for you. If you're wanting this best chest cable workout, best cable chest workout, uh, just message me, put in the comments section, or reach out to me personally, you can DM me on any social media platform, um, and uh, we'll get this over to you, all right? So the next exercise we're gonna go to is the wide grip lat pull down. So I'm super excited that I just took that bar off because I'm gonna be using it right now for the wide grip lat pull down. Ding dong. So same thing, just like I told you with the cable row, you know, you're pulling your shoulders back, driving your shoulders back, and you know, that way you're able to get the shoulders back before you go into a heavy bench press with the fly um, combination. Now, we're gonna go into the wide grip pull down. Same thing, now we're working on pulling those shoulders down, engaging those lats, so that way, you know, <clears throat> it's a great way to get all that stuff pumped up and engaged also to give you the best benefit for getting that chest. So biggest thing with this, there's two ways to do it. There's the seated wide grip pull down, which is okay. Or I've done a whole series on this too with the whole, you know, six top tips to get your first pull up in. If you're not able to get pull ups yet is doing all of your wide grip pull downs, chin ups, chin downs from your knees because this simulates you if you're actually pulling up. So the biggest thing with doing pull-ups is not only the strength of your lats and arms and all those things, it's also your core. It's a major core exercise. I know, it's surprising. So always looking up like you're getting ready to go pull yourself up over the bar, pulling down, engaging those lats, keeping those shoulders pulled down. You're gonna be doing 15 of these also. 15, all right? So 15 wide grip pull downs, making sure you're grabbing that bar securely, all right? You don't wanna use a hook grip, because I also have videos on that as well, talking about one of the most common gym injuries. You know, a lot of times people get that, what it's called as tennis elbow, um, and it's because what happens is that they're using that hook grip and it just tweaks that one finger real funny, and all of a sudden it triggers that pain in your elbow that people have the hardest time getting rid of, honestly. So, wide grip lat pull down 15, followed by eight decline chest flies. So, just like when I talk about how you're hitting any specific muscle and you're trying to really you know, work the whole chest, and that's why this is one of the best chest exercise, chest workouts you know, that you can do is because you can hit that angle. So to know the angles of the different chest muscles, so this is the decline chest fly, so you wanna be coming underneath that sweep, sweep, so it connects up here and wraps down underneath and, and into the insertion point right here in the middle of the chest. So you have to get that angle. So it's the same premise when you're doing your dips so when you're doing your dips, 
You're leaning forward just a little bit, but you want to make sure you're nice and tall, leaning forward in that dip position, and you're just really coming straight down and feeling that chest engage underneath and lifting up. Same thing like I did with the chest fly, is you're coming down, hitting those handles, and then feeling like you're driving those elbows, squeezing your elbows together to finish off that movement. Squeeze, you know, engaging that. Boom. All right, so you're gonna be doing eight of those, all right? Now we're going into the decline chest press. So I actually love this exercise, um, especially with people that either A, can't do dips yet, and B, you know, just trying to really get that squeeze instead of doing a dip. Um, the cool thing with these, this machine is, I've got two cables here so I can in essence hook in both cables into these handles to make this twice as hard on the one on both sides. And you can hear me letting that air in and out. I do this so obviously I don't get injured. But it's that same motion. So we're set up for a dip, and, the, and you're not, see how my elbows are bent, just like I would be doing a dip? The coolest thing about using the cable is you get that squeeze that you can't get when you're doing a dip. So you get that squeeze that, ah, got two minuses. So when you're trying to, you know, get that dip, can't get so it's right there you find that same spot you feel that bottom of your chest engage coming up bending those elbows keeping those shoulders driven down and squeezing same thing eight reps squeezing and you cannot get that tension when you're doing actual dips itself so you see how focused eight reps Squeezing that chest together at the bottom. And I mean, you can really add that pressure into those you know, uh, exercises. Now, the key thing is, is if you're actually using plate weights, which most people will because not a lot of places have these, you want to make sure you stay tight when you get those you know, weights in place so that way you're not exposing your shoulders too much. So you see how that kind of crawled from one side to the other, locking that in so that way you can get the weights in the right spot without trying to grab heavy weights out wide and really hurting yourself. All right, so we have the wide grip pull downs, driving those shoulders down, getting your lats engaged, the decline fly, and then the decline press down, all right? So that's our second circuit. Our third circuit, one of my favorites. I know, these are all my favorites actually though, so I love training, but you can't, can't knock it for that. So we're gonna drop this all the way to the bottom. It's going to be a cable pullover. So cable pullover, attach that bar again. Um, do you have to have a bar? No. I mean, these are obviously things that since I have it, I want to show it to you. And I actually did see one of these originally at a hotel gym. And that's when I ordered a bunch of them. So I'll grab my bench and I'll spin it around. Same thing, make sure it's centered again. So coming in, grab the center point of the cable. And I'm gonna roll it out about three to four feet. And we're gonna do a pullover. Pullover, you can do these with barbells, dumbbells. Obviously also, same thing. I think it's better with the cable because of the fact that you had that consistent resistance. All right? So you got, you got your arms locked in in an isolated motion, and you're pulling over, um, engaging, same thing, the whole, it's gonna round your chest out, so you wanna pull that motion, so you feel your whole chest rounding, it also hits those serratus anteriors underneath your armpits, so keeping those engaged. Uh, we're gonna do 10 of these. It's a good stretch and a good pullover. So like right when you hit this point right here, with this and the cable machine, you have that resistance always pulling backwards. So you're, you're always engaged. Whereas if you had a dumbbell, boom, you hit to this spot, and
and there's no resistance here. Your highest resistance point is when it's you know completely right here up and down and your body is all the way extended. Um, but you lose that resistance as you're you know pulling it up and over. So the cables are fantastic. Best exercise for that, um, the pullover motion. Next we'll be going into the incline chest fly. It's not a heavy movement also, but you want to make sure, <clears throat> just like I said with the decline fly, you know, you, you understand the, the, where the insertion origin points are, so therefore you can really isolate that actual muscle itself. Same thing with the incline fly, you know, you got to find that motion so that way you can kind of feel and get that muscle memory, the connection, you know, with your central nervous system to where that's supposed to hit. So feel where it hits, and then you grab the handle and you see my hand, how it's a supine grip, and you wanna find that point, and you're always kind of moving forward and backward until you find that point, and you just wanna be like, oh, there it is. And see, the biggest thing with this too is people wanna to try to twist their body, go heavy. It's not about going heavy, it's not. You just want to find that motion, find that movement. I isolate this by doing a single arm. We're going to do 10 of these also. So this whole circuit's 10, 10, 10. So 10 incline flies, 10 pullovers, 10 incline flies, and 10 incline presses. Still firing up. There we go, found it. We'll go through, same thing, 10. Nice stretch. Good control. Same thing, cables are amazing for a lot of these motions, or resistance bands, for that matter, because when you get to that point, it's still got great resistance because it's pulling you back, you know, other than using a dumbbell for something like this. All right, so this is why the cables are typically a lot better for especially like flies. Plus the big thing too is you're going past that center point. So, you know, you're going past that center point and getting that full contraction on that muscle. You know, you can't, you cannot beat that. I mean, that's really at the end of the day to get the most out of your workouts and your exercises you know, to get a full contraction like that, it's the best. Um, you know, when I say these things too, it's not like I say never do dumbbells again, never use a barbell again. Not even close to what I'm saying. I'm just saying these are these are great to do because of the fact that you know you're getting the best bang out of it. All right. So, as you see, this is a pretty high incline. Um, since I isolated that upper chest, I want to take it, you know, and just pound it out. And the reason being is, same thing with these cable machines. You know, you can use the handles for these as well. Um, you know, get that great contraction, pushing them in together, just like I did with that decline press. But I can go heavier when I use the bar. So, you know, I can go heavier put the greatest resistance against it and then you know just using that bar and uh, you know getting it set up right so same thing coming in here make sure that's nice and centered pulling it in so that way when I go straight up with it I'm gonna be hitting that upper part of my chest Woo! getting myself in there though right. same thing bring it to my thighs popping it up and driving that back into the bench, tucking those toes behind your knees and just driving yourself back. Same thing, 10 presses. Grab that bar super tight. Squeeze that chest out. Oh yeah, give me more, baby. Same thing, 10 reps. When you actually do this workout, you are dying at this point, trust me. She did it yesterday. Driving those elbows, squeezing that chest, 
really rocking it out. Um, so like I said, that's your third circuit. So we've got the pullovers, followed by the incline fly, followed by the chest press, all in the cable machines. This last circuit is like a burnout circuit. It's fun, it's challenging. You're just kind of burning out the chest, finishing it up. So we're gonna be doing several movements. Same thing, it's, there's three exercises in it. I'm gonna pop this bar off because we don't need it anymore. All right, throw it back in the rack. Pop the handle back on. All right. So, we start off with a crossover push-up. What the heck is that? Uh, crossover push-up. We're gonna go into a push-up position. I do these for my knuckles. If you have a dumbbell, you can do a dumbbell on the one side. But uh, so, go for my knuckles. <clears throat> I'm gonna do a push up, and then you cross over, core is engaged, getting that chest pumped to finish it. I go high and low with it. Ah. <laughs> Dying. So you'll knock out five on each side. We're gonna do the push up. Squeeze, squeeze, push up. Squeeze, squeeze, push up. So we do five on each side. <sighs> the next one is an uppercut. And it's not your cardio uppercut. We're trying to just metabolically burn your body up and work your core. It's so an uppercut where you're trying to pop that upper chest again. So you want your arms 90 degree bend, and you're just coming up, small movement, just across the body. Same thing, 10 per side. So your arms don't unbend or bend anymore. Core's engaged, shoulders are locked in tight, and just hitting that upper chest. So as you can see, we're just burning it out. This last circuit we're doing also is just like two to four sets. It's kind of up to you and how toasted you are. Obviously you don't want to get hurt, but you want to blow your chest all the way out. That's what we're doing today. So the next one's a upper chest shrug. So staying in tight, you got the cable over here, and you're just trying to pop that upper chest up. This is great to do in front of a mirror, or if you don't have a mirror, just put your hand over here. Make sure you can feel that upper chest popping up. It's the same thing, it's a little heavier of an exercise. Uh, it's not ridiculous though. Good, Come on the other side. But this is the last exercise for the best Cable exercises for the chest. Best cable chest workout. Woo! Boom! Same thing. If you guys want sets, reps, all that stuff, no guesswork, hand picked and typed up and handed over to you, just contact me, all right? That way I can get this over to you. There's no, unless you want to take notes, which is always awesome, also. Um, but if you don't want to feel, if you don't feel like, you know, trying to put together and plug all these programs together and figure everything out on your own, and you want to get the best that's for you, what you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish, this might not be exactly what you're trying to accomplish because to even get that good chest workout and to get that good chest pump and to get that chest looking the way you want to look, you know, you have to be at a lower body fat percentage just to get it popping out. So to get yourself to that 15, 12% body fat if you're a guy, or 17 to 21% body fat if you're a woman, you know, to get to that range, you know, you need help. And you don't want to guess and keep trying to figure it out. Waste time. You know, message me. Go to my website, Brent or Brent Casper.com, or Brent Casper.com. Brent is my email address, but 
BrainCasper.com. Hit me up. Say you want to work with me. Let me get you connected with the Seven Figure Body Blueprint. It's freaking awesome, man. We use the you know Ignite meal planning system. Super simple. You know, if it's not simple, you will not do it. Also, I got you know the um, accelerated PT method, which is is a thing that I created working with thousands of clients, getting them the ridiculous results that they didn't even think was possible at 40, 50, 60 years old, you know? So it is possible, I promise you that. So, uh, you know, I got tons of people that come in and say, oh, I don't have the right body type for that. I don't have the right body frame for that. You do. You just gotta be using the right, you know, systems, so. I will see you in that next video. If you have not subscribed yet to my channel, definitely subscribe. Mash that notification bell. That way you're notified as the new stuff's coming out. I got the hottest stuff out there, man. And I want you to know what it is so that way you're not guessing anymore. My name is Brent Casper. This is BKPT. And I will see you in the next episode.